Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have the Barbie Extra number 19, and she has got a lot of cool pieces that, in my opinion, don't go together at all, but it's okay because she's still really cute, and she has one of the most unique faces that I've seen from Barbie in a while, and it's kind of what I expected to see when I saw that Barbie Extra was originally coming out. So let's take a look at her. So here she is. A little bit of close-up of her face right there. Some of the pieces that she comes with. These boots are incredible. Here is the UPC for her, in case you're trying to find her. I did pick her up at Walmart. She is very cool. She's got a lot going on. And <laughs> uh, we're going to rebody her, of course, because that's what we do here. She retails for 25 I think I picked her up at 19 I want to say it was like a Target or no, a, it was a Walmart like daily deal or something like that. Um, but she hasn't really gone down in price yet. The latest releases of the, of the Barbie extras haven't really gone on clearance. So we are going to get her out. Now, I have had a hell of a time trying to get these boxes open. So I've just learned to just rip and go with these because I don't have the patience for it. So, there she is, out of the box, or out of the big plastic, and she looks really good. Like, she is very cute. My question is going to be, which doll is actually going to suit her best? Because we have a couple of different options for her. So we're going to take a look at those. So, let's see. We're going to... Get her out of her little staples and things. My handy dandy nipper. Bum -ba. Okay. All right. Mm -mm. Okay, we're mainly in there now. Okay. I think we've just got the head staples now. Why not? She has multiple rubber bands and things holding her in, apparently. Well, yeah, we're going to have to cut her head staples from the back, apparently. Because she did not want to pull off very easily. A quick little fluff of her hair. Uh, she's got a couple more rubber bands that are holding her hair, holding one of her braids onto her arm, because for some reason they really like to do that. Sometimes, uh, but it's fine. So we got that sleeve freed. And just look at how sparkly this skirt is. And it's sparkly without being glitter. And it's not sequins. It's literally just printed on there. This is the kind of material I would love to see more often because it's actual fabric. It's not vinyl. Um, it's really cute. So we're going to set her right there. Give you guys a little bit more of a look while I get the rest of her stuff out. Bump, bump, bump. Okay. So first and foremost, we have her cute little alien bag. 
is very cute. I want to take these little rubber bands off before I forget. Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, and then she does come with these cute little, like, raised stickers. I wouldn't use those for anything, but that's just a me thing. Uh, just because I don't love what happens to stickers like over time, no matter the quality of the sticker. Just, the way they put these glasses in there now, I could never get this right on the first try, as far as like how these are supposed to go. There we go. So she's got these cute little lime green mini glasses. They are transparent, so that's nice, which means we can use them for our dolls. And by that, I mean I would use them. You can always use whatever you like. But I don't like to use glasses that aren't transparent because that's the whole point of glasses. And then we have our little panda pet with his cool little guitar that's got all those fun little stickers on it. And it's very cute. So let's take a look at some of these pieces individually. So the shoes, can we hear it for the shoes? Talk about buckles. These are like very cute. She does have flat feet. So she's articulated with flat feet. As you can see, once you take those boots off, she's got a very big difference in the finishing, which is a little bizarre. And she actually has a defect right there in her leg, which makes me a little sad uh, if I wasn't already going to rebody her. But that's okay. So she's got lots of bracelets on this arm. So we've done these before. We've seen these. So we've got sort of transparent plastic ones. Not bad. Always good to have extras of those. Mm. Bum, bum. Uh, a nice actually metallic silver on the short bracelet. Now we've seen this long bracelet done before so that's not bad. And then our other accessory that we have is this belt. Now this belt is great because it can expand to fit any size doll, which means we can stick this on a broad can if we need to. Now there is a little staple that's here in between, if I can find where the actual staple part is. There we go. Okay, there was a staple holding the skirt and the, whatchamacallit, together. The skirt and the hoodie together. So as you can see, it's kind of like a high skirt or a high-waisted skirt almost, but it's very cute. There is a necklace under here that we're going to see in just a second. Okay, so here's a close-up of the designs that are on there. This isn't bad. I would probably take these off though, because without the designs, it's actually a decently cute basic. And I would rather have basic hoodies than a bunch of random designs on there. I'm not against patterns, I'm against random designs, just kind of like I'm not against really, uh, really big, really artistic tattoos, and I'm more against like, here's a shamrock and here's 85 other things that don't have a common theme. But on tattoos to each their own, they're not on my body, it's fine with them on yours. Um, but a very cool one, again I probably take off some, uh, 
take off those designs. And we do have two necklaces on here. So we've got a metallic silver chain. We've seen these before. So three metallic silver. And this is transparent orange, like transparent orange pearls. Very fun, but also doesn't really match. Um, but yeah, she's got pretty decent hair. It's gonna be a little hard to brush it unless you separate these braids out and make sure you don't have any of the threads that are in there when you're brushing. So you have to just kind of pull these up and away from your um, brushing marks. As you can see, she does have some baby hairs. Pretty decent printing. She's got a little bit of freckles, which is fun. I'm actually gonna give the hair just a little bit of a brush through, just to get rid of that box hair. It's already looking better. Let me just give it a brush from the underside too. Okay, much better. And she looks really cute, I think. So now that we have her, now that we've discussed all of her accessories, now it's time to decide which Barbie is actually going to be a made to move match for her. So I originally thought it was gonna be this wheelchair Barbie and it's not a bad match. I'll say that, it's not bad. But this Barbie is actually a little bit more red than this Barbie is. And you can see it more in person. Like if you were to put those skin tones right next to each other. They're pretty good. This is an okay match if you have her. I think this one is going to be a better match. But actually seeing it on camera, I think she may be too dark, surprisingly. Yeah, I think she's gonna be a little too dark. I was basing that, yeah, okay. So I think this is gonna be your best match for her then. Uh, there are a couple of different body types for this one. We have our uh, petite looks, which also comes in the skin tone. And there is a curvy that's also in the skin tone. That was the BMR 1959 curvy doll with the flower dress. Um, I don't think I have one of those in stock right now. So I'm going to go with her because I like her. She's a very good doll to have around. And right now she gets down to clearance at like 10 or 15, which is great. Uh, because when you rebody dolls, you know that it gets expensive after a while because you have to add on you know, 10 to $15 to whatever the cost of the doll that you want for the head actually is. So I'm going to get her ready and then we're going to rebody our new one to really give her the look that we're going for. So just to show you guys the bodies, they're pretty close. This one's gonna be slightly duskier compared to this one being redder, but you know, at a certain point, you can really only get as close as possible. But it's fine. Okay, we've got our doll ready to go. Always make sure your doll heads are soft and not firm when you're rebodying. A lot of people swear by doing the boil method. 
I agree with that method with harder headed dolls, but if you've already got a doll that's got a head that is able to be squished, that's as soft as you're really gonna get it most of the time. So we got her, her uh, little crown thing, a little messed up, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll fix that here in a bit. Okay, and that's just like this. And I always like to trim these neck pegs because it just makes it easier to rebody them again in the future if I need to. And so there she is on her new fully made to move body. And as you can see, pretty good match for what we have. So I'm actually going to try to get that crown back on. I'm generally going to, I'm going to take about this much hair and try to put it in that hairline right there. have to do this off camera because I have to actually get it pretty close so I can uh, actually work with it. All right, and we've got her back on. And you just hook it right there on the bottom of that uh, hairline. And she looks really cute now. But more importantly, we have to prune down her outfit to make her a little less extra. So of course, we're gonna keep the skirt because it's adorable. It is the best piece in this, I think, because I thought this was going to be done with glitter. I honestly had no faith when it came to how this skirt was going to look out of the box. But she looks great. So it's very cute. We're, of course, going to keep the boots. The boots are spectacular and work even better with our uh, with our articulated ankles. Very cute. I would even maybe add um, some fishnets under there. I won't do that right this minute, but. It's a very good possibility. And I think what I want to add on top of that, ooh, I think it's this one, for my Barbie hair play. If I remember what this is correctly, yes. What do we think? There's a little bit of that light blue in there. I think that's how we're gonna go. Because there's already a lot of shine to this doll. And uh, is it the right color? Yes. Okay. So I'm thinking we're going to do this. It's extra without being so pink. And normally I am very pro pink when it comes to doing these dolls. But like sometimes it's just a little bit much. So there we go, we've got that. And then we can put her bracelet on. And of course we're gonna put her shiny choker back on. 
And we're going to put this bracelet back on. And I think that's how we're going to keep her. Because the belt is green. And while there is a little bit of lime green in there, it's not enough that I really want to waste one of these belts that are just so rare that Barbie actually gives us belts when she already has enough going on. So I think that's going to be how I style her. Like, she looks really cute this way. And I think that's kind of the look that we're going to go for, is just doing that. I am going to take these off with acetone because I don't love the way it looks. There's just too much going on. And now generally what I do with this kind of fabric is I'll put a big layer, like a big stack of napkins in between the layers so it doesn't have the possibility of the color bleeding through. And I'll just hit it with the acetone with a Q-tip and maybe a scraper. Or with a big area like this, I may actually soak it and then just scrub at it with my little uh, scrub daddy. So if you're ever wondering how to take these kind of decals off of your Barbie clothes to make them look a little less heinous, that's how you do it. And that works for most things. Um, if you're looking to take like the alien off of the purse to just have basic stuff, most of the time, just acetone. Straight up nail polish remover will take it off. So if you guys have any questions about these, about this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.